I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Come on, kid. We gotta get. I think... I think we're safe. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? I'm fine. Just let me be. Oh, was that so? Because last time I saw you, you could barely crawl away from that lurker back there. Look, you're in bad shape, kid. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. I'm alone. Everyone I know is gone. It's just me now. I'm sorry to hear that. I just lost a sister. We've all lost folks. Well... I'm Luke, and this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. And it's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! Ah! What? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? <sighs> no, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. I can't remember the last time I saw a dog. No, it really was a dog. Please, believe me. Look, I want to, kid, but I gotta believe my own two eyes first, and I didn't see no dog around. No, it was from before. Hmm, all right. Let's see it. Whoa, 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 hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Hmm. Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this. Now what, what does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I want to know how believable her story is. I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You look me in the eyes when you answer. Yes. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she gonna say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at it. All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit.
Don't you tell me that. That was what fucking happened. Does someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on? Now hold on, Rebecca. We got this. Don't worry. What I tell you this? Did anyone even think to ask where she came from? For all we know, she could be working with Carver. She told us that she was out there alone. Just by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I need a dog. <gasps> what? Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard that. You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I just need a doctor. And then, and then I'll go. I don't want my arm to get infected. None of us want to get infected. That's the point. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. <sighs> it's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. Hmm, whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> Uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Then what? You were right. You want to be sure about this before you do something you might regret. I'm on your side, kid. No need for a guilt trip. Who's she? Sarah. What I say, stay inside. I don't mean to cause any trouble. I just wanted to find help. But if you let me go, I promise you'll never see me again. And where exactly would you go? I can take care of myself. Clearly. Look, I may be in the minority here, but my gut tells me she's telling the truth. It probably is just a dog bite. Probably. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. Well, we have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. Alvin, please. But, yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. The boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shit. My arm really hurts. I don't know what to tell you except hold out the best you can. We'll see what we can do in the morning. If I make it until then, maybe you could get me some supplies? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry.
Why are we doing this? It's fucking dumb. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure.